I would like to request Dr. Suhail Babu Shrestha, the Vice Chancellor of NAS, uh, to take the seat of chairperson for this inaugural session. Thank you very much. Uh, similarly, it's my pleasure to welcome Honorable Minister Devendra Powdell, Minister for Education, Science and Technology, and Pro Chancellor of Nepal Academy of Science and Technology as the chief guest for this program. <laughs> Now, I'd like to welcome respected director of NAM and NAM SNT Center, Dr. Amitava Bandopadhyay, as a special guest for this program. Okay, now to formally welcome this uh, August gathering, I'd like to request Dr. Kanti Shrestha, Chief Faculty of Science, NAS, for her welcome address. And Namaskar to everyone. Chairperson of this inaugural session, Dr. Sunil Babu Shrestha, Vice Chancellor of Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, Chief Guest, Honorable Minister, Mr. Devendra Powell, Minister for Education, Science and Technology, Nepal, respected Dr. Amitabh Bandopadhyay, sir. Director General, <coughs> NAP SNT Center, <coughs> New Delhi, India. <coughs> Academicians of NAST, Chairperson of Chair uh, Service Commission of NAST, keynote lectures, speakers, delegates from different institutions, and from NAM and other developing countries, scientists and uh, faculties from NAST, and researchers and all the participants. Uh, on behalf of organizers, in my, in my own pleasure to extend my warm welcome to you all to this international workshop on development of food green city for urban sustainability, jointly organized by Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, NAST, Nepal, and Center for Science and Technology, of the non-aligned and other developing countries, NAM, SNT Center, New Delhi, India. As you all know that this is a two-day seminar, uh, two days workshop that will focus on multi-dimensional aspects of emerging concepts on food green cities. We are gathered here to share our ideas, learning and knowledge on sustainability of our urban areas we have today globally. And I expect this sharing will bring out the issues of urban food demand and the arising problems due to increasing uh, uh, trend of urbanization in the world. The workshop will cover the topics on concept of food bin cities, organic, uh, organic certification and R&D on value chain of agricultural products, methods of uh, urban agriculture, urban agricultural products, solid waste management and utilization, digital platform for the food green cities and so on. Our expert speakers will share their knowledge and experiences in these themes. And for the most uh, succinct uh, talk by our keynote speakers will bring out our insights and ideas in developing sustainable cities. And thank you all for your valuable time. Once again, I would like to welcome you all and I hope we all will actively participate throughout the whole sessions today and tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, for welcoming our chief guest, special guest, guests, and all participants. Now, I'd like to request the special guest of our inaugural session, Director General of NAM SNT Center, Dr. Amitabh Bandopadhyay, for his opening remarks. Okay, yeah. Um, am I audible? Very good morning to you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. 
Hello. Yes, sir, we are hearing you. Please proceed. Okay. Uh, a very good morning to all of you. Honorable Devin Pordal, Minister for Education, oh, Science and Technology, Government of Nepal. Dr. Sunil Bhagusreshta, Vice Chancellor, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology. Dr. Kantri Sreshta, Chief Scientific Officer and Chief of the Faculty of Science, NAST. Mrs. Nisha Rana, Head Planning NAST, other colleagues from the Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, distinguished speakers, guests, and invitees, and participants from various NAM members and other developing countries, and participants from the host country, Nepal. Greetings from the NAM SNT Center, New Delhi. It gives me immense pleasure to be virtually present here with you all today for the inaugural ceremony of this two days international virtual workshop on development of food green cities for urban sustainability, which is being organized in partnership between the Center for Science and Technology of the Non-Aligned and Other Developing Countries and the Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, Lalitpur. At the outset, let me thank our Honorable Minister, Dr. Sunil Babu Sreshta and his entire team for all the support to the NAM Center for organizing this joint program. Nepal has been one of the most active members of the NAM Center from the beginning and the scientific community from Nepal has been benefited through these scientific activities. There is a huge demand for food supply for urban inhabitants due to the increasing trend of urbanization and the current food system in the cities cannot meet the growing food demand in a sustainable manner. Urban agriculture can play a valuable role in sustainable food systems with environmental, social, health, and economic benefits. So the national and local governments need to become more strategic in responding to the challenges and opportunities posed by rapid urbanization by formulating a national urbanization strategy and better coordinated action for all the stakeholders involved, including the private sector. The advancement of urban agriculture can help manage urban food production, promote greeneries in the cities, and facilitate waste management by properly maintaining public health. The local production in cities may help to meet the current food demand and may improve resource efficiency by decreasing the food wastage or food loss in the cities and communities. For urban areas to produce food itself, the concept of food green city is realized. That is by integrating urban agriculture with urban planning. Am I audible? Am I audible, please? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, the concept of food green city is realized, that is by integrating urban agriculture with urban planning for addressing socio-economic and environmental issues. It can also improve the quality of local food products that are without pesticides, seasonal fresh, and are delivered in a more sustainable and less carbon intensive method. Food green city approaches are being realized using various methods of urban horticultural practices like utilizing barren lands of city gardens, parks, roadsides, rooftops, and balconies for fruit production, along with modern soilless vertical farming like aquaponics, hydroponics, and aeroponics. These approaches shorten the food supply chain, fulfilling the food demand in cities and improving environmental quality by consuming less energy and resources. I really do not wish to speak further on the theme of the workshop in the presence of the renowned and highly knowledgeable experts representing various countries today. But for those who are not much familiar with NAM SNT Center, I would like to mention that the Center for Science and Technology of the Non-Aligned and Other Developing Countries, or in short, the NAM SNT Center, is an intergovernmental organization which was established in August 89 in New Delhi, based on the recommendations of various NAM summits. It currently has 47 member countries spread over the African, Asian, Middle Eastern, European, and Latin American regions. 
The center aims at promoting South-South cooperation in science and technology for collective self-reliance of the developing countries with a special focus on implementation of Sustainable Development Goals 2030. For over 20 fruitful and pro productive years, we have provided an open platform for scientists, researchers, and technologists to collaborate, share, and exchange novel ideas for the be betterment of the NAM and other developing countries through various scientific activities, such as organization of international workshops and conferences and training courses, execution of multilateral collaborative projects, and the implementation of fellowship programs on various subjects in collaboration with the centers of excellence in different countries. The center also brings out scientific publications, including books, monographs, and state-of-the-art reports on topics of priority concern and direct relevance to the developing world, and provides opportunity to the scientists and technologists for authoring scientific articles and papers in such publications. In addition, a multilateral collaborative project entitled Reducing Arsenic Exposure from Food and Water in Developing Countries, a Roadmap for Technological Solution for the Future has been approved by the Group of 77 with partial financial support under the Perez Guerrero Trust Fund of the G77. My remarks would be incomplete without thanking enough our valued partner, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, for their kind support for the successful organization of the workshop. I would take the opportunity to thank the Honorable Minister, Dr. Sunil Babu Sreshta, Dr. Kantri Sreshta, and other colleagues from the NAST for their encouragement and support in organizing this program. I would also like to express my gratitude to my colleagues, Mr. Madhusudan Bandopadhyay, Senior Advisor, Ms. Jasmine Kaur, Program Officer, and other members of the NAMI Center Center for their untiring efforts and commitment for the success of this workshop. I look forward to have more such collaborative programs with NAST in the near future. Finally, before I conclude, I once again welcome the distinguished foreign participants as well as the participants from the host country, Nepal. I wish you all a very happy and fruitful learning experience in this important international virtual workshop of current global interest. I believe that the program will be highly rewarding through its interactive lectures, discussion, and discourse to set the pillars of food green city for better land use with energy efficient technologies, food security, socioeconomic growth, integrating modern organic farming practices, and also improving traditional local farming methods to fulfill the specific needs of any country in the area of urban agriculture. Thank you so much once again. Thank you very much, respected Director General, Nam SND Center, for your uh, valuable insights. Now, without any delay, I would like to request our chief guest, Honorable Minister Devendra Powell, Minister for Education, Science and Technology, and chief guest of this uh, session for his inaugural address. Hello, Namaste. Hello. We can hear you. So we are we are listening to you. Please yeah, yeah, I'm also listening. Uh, namaste, good morning. Director General of NAM SNT Center, Vice Chancellor of NAST Scientist, Vice Chancellor of NAST Scientist, ladies and gentlemen. It is really my immense pleasure to be in this August gathering today. I would like to appreciate the contribution made by NAMS and T Center and the NAST in organizing this valuable workshop. The workshop is more significant. Nepal, as we are 
in the phase of the developing urban hubs in the different parts of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know the global urban population in being increasing day by day. The rapid population increase will take place mainly in development, developing countries. So proper planning and the management is essential for the sustainable urban development. With the rapid growth in the urbanization, food insecurity issue areas. To decrease food supply, rich urban agriculture can play, play a valuable role in sustainable food system with environmental, social, economic, and the health benefits. I think the concept of the food green city would be a pragmatic approach in the continuous supply of the food to same extent for the urban population. Furthermore, countries like or food increase, food production and they increase more job opportunities. The urban population of the Nepal has reached to more than 60% with the increasing, decreasing trend of the rural areas. As a country, revision for the development of urban cities, it is imperative to the development infrastructure and the provide access to the essential service to the peoples. Also, when more people migrate to urban area, both the food de demand and the environmental pleasure increasing. Therefore, Nepal is orienting in the sector policies for the urban development and urbanization. Although the country is in the path of the strengthening institutional and the legal framework, the National Urban Development Strategy of the Nepal is guided by the principle of the sustainable inclusivity, resilience, green and the efficiency. The essence of this principle, it is harmony with the concept of food green city. I am hopeful that this will support us to reach our 2031 vision of the balance and the prosperous national urban system by maintaining maintaining food green city while formulating local planning policies. As Kathmandu Valley is development for the satellite cities. I think food green city approach can be applied with the help to the create an environmentally, socially, and economically sustainable model cities. I am hopeful that outputs of the two days workshop will come out with the valuable suggestion followed by the recommendation and way forward for the making or urban areas sustainable through the implementation of the food green city concept. I wish all the best for the grand success of the workshop. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister and Chief Guest of this uh, session uh, for your thought provoking and insightful remarks. And we'd also like to thank you very much for your uh, valuable time to this workshop. Now, before moving to the closing remarks, uh, I'd like to request uh, you all uh, to turn on your cameras uh, for group photo. We'll take a photograph of this August gathering. So I'd like to request you all to turn on your camera, please. Thank you all. Uh, thank you very much. Uh
Thank you very much. Now we have taken a group photo of this uh, important gathering uh, and our, uh, with our chief guest, special guest, and the vice chancellor of NAST. So thank you all. Now I'd like to request the chairperson of this inaugural session and the vice chancellor of NAST, Dr. Sunil Babu Sresta, uh, for formally closing this inaugural session. Thank you very much, uh, Pawanji. Uh, Chief Guest, Honorable uh, Minister of Education, Science Tech and Technology, Mr. Devendra Podil. Uh, special Guest, Mr. Amita Bandupade, Director General, NAMS SNT Center, Distinguished Speakers and Participants of this workshop. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all very warm greetings from Nepal. First of all, I would like to ex welcome the Chief Guest, Honorable Minister of Education, Science and Technology of Nepal, Director General of NAM SNT Center, and all our distinguished speakers, panelists, and uh, participants from the various countries in this jointly organized workshop on the development of food green cities for the urban sustainability. And I would also like to extend my sincere thanks to your gracious presence, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, in spite of, of your busy schedule and all who participate in this workshop. Although it is a virtual workshop due to the COVID pandemic, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology has a great pleasure for organizing such an international event jointly with the NAM SNT Center for discussing in the pertinent issues of urban sustainability and the concept of food green cities for addressing the urban issues facing by the most of the countries of the world. NAM, NAST being a member of NAM SNT Center, we are happy to be the joint organizer of this workshop. For this opportunity, I would like to thank the NAM SNT Center and my special thanks goes to the Director General, Dr. Amitabh Bandhubade and his team. I would also take this opportunity to thank the Dr. Kanti Sreshta, Chief of the Faculty of Science and Science, NAST, for their hard work to bring this workshop in this stage. My sincere thanks also goes to all the speakers and the panelists and the participants whose role is vital to make this workshop grand success. Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, an apex autonomous body for the advancement of science and technology in the country is driving at present through the motto, the science for society and innovation for prosperity, which resonates with the development slogan of government of Nepal, prosperous Nepal and happy Nepali. In this context, to solve the urban problem, NASA has started the Food Green City initiatives in 16 representative municipalities of seven provinces of Nepal, having, with having the MOU with those municipalities. The purpose of this is to provide the support in practicing the urban agriculture, integrating with the municipal plan so that the affordable food is available locally to the city dwellers and maintain the green environment in the municipalities. This MOU has provided uh, the us a chance to transfer the scientific knowledge gained at the lab to land. On this background, I expect this event provides the opportunity to understand the concept of food green cities that is being promoted by the NAS. And I hope that after this workshop, you all be, will be the motivated to implement the concept of food green city at your places as well. If so, then I will take this uh, workshop as a success. I am confident that this workshop also offers the room for improvement to implement the Food Green City program further effective in the days to come for making our cities more sustainable, smart, and social. I also sincerely urge all the participating institutions for meaningful collaboration with the NAST in promoting the Food Green City concept for the sustainability of our cities, keeping in close network based on the shared benefits. Finally, I wish every success of the workshop that lasts for the two days and also expects that the participants will acquire the significant clues for sustainable urban development through the application of food green city principles at the end of the workshop to lead the world, making the prosperous and better place for all. With this, I stop here and also declare the end of this inauguration session. Uh, and soon we will start the technical session. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, uh, for your valuable remarks. Now, uh, without any delay, 
uh, I would like to move uh, to the uh, technical session of this international workshop. And the first technical session uh, will be chaired by Professor Sudha Shrestha, Professor of Institute of uh, Engineering, Nepal. So I would like to uh, welcome uh, Professor Sudha Shrestha and request her uh, to move this session forward. Okay, and thank I'll you very much. Comment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pawanji. And uh, namaste to everyone. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me as a working as a chairperson in this session uh, in international workshop on development of food green cities for urban sustainability. Uh, the topic itself is quite interesting and is very important as well as very crucial in this uh, world at present. And I like to take opportunity to thank Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, NAST, and also Center for Science and Technology for the non-online and other developing countries, NAM, SNT Center, New Delhi, for organizing such type of interesting and very important topic, uh, conference on international workshop on these very important issue. And um, actually not taking much time, uh, I'd like to um, request everyone that today our keynote speaker is uh, Dr. Sunil, Bahadur, Sunil Babusrestha, and he's the vice chair chancellor of this NAS Academy of uh, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology. And uh, he was the former uh, National Planning Commission member, Honorable National Planning Commission member, and he has given his contribution in developing of nation in that time as well. And going to give his biography, uh, he is uh, he obtained his PhD doctor, uh, PhD degree from Osaka Sangyo of University, Japan, in environmental development engineering in 2004. Dr. Srestha is the vice chancellor. And as I have already mentioned that uh, NAST is government bo apex body and uh, which is looking after science and technology. And the NAST is developing very much even in his turn because he has uh, given lots of opportunities to science scientists of Nepal as well as international uh, such type of conferences. And uh, actually he graduated from Institute of Engineering uh, in MEC in Urban Planning. He was the excellent and brilliant students in our uh, department. And we we thought that he will do something in for the nation. Yes, we are really proud of him. He is doing something and not only something, he is doing very good thing for the development of urban areas as well as science and technology. His experience is uh, in many areas, like he is the engineer. So he was working many years in water supply and sanitation, science and technology, land development and federal affairs and public private partnership. Dr. Sresta has valuable contribution in preparing national plans and integrated plan, urban development guidelines of Nepal while he was working in National Planning Commission. Dr. Sresta is the main contributor to introduce One City, One Identity, which is very interesting project. And luckily I am one of the uh, team leader of one of the project in uh, One City, One Identity, which was very, very successful. And he's also editor in chief of Nepal Journal of Science and Technology and Senate member of Nepal Academic Science and Technology. He's also um, member of Nepal Sanskrit University and Agriculture and Forestry University, Nepal. He has published numerous uh, journal articles and book chapters, uh, and he was honored with many awards. So we have Dr. Sunil Babu Sresta, the Vice Chancellor of NAS, uh, for keynote spe speaking. And key for keynote lecture, his topic is concept of food green city 
concept and consequences. Dr. Sunil Babu, you have 20 minutes. Uh, in 20 minutes also, you have only 17 minutes and three minutes for question answer. Please, Dr. Sunil Babu Shrestha, the Vice Chancellor. Thank you very much, Chair uh, of the Sessions. Uh, I'm sharing my presentations, and thank you very much for the introductions as well. So I'm going to present uh, Chair of the Sessions, uh, distinguished uh, speakers and participants. Uh, good afternoon and namaste to all of you. I'm going to talk about uh, the food green cities concept and consequences. And uh, I'm going to uh, talk, uh, the contents of my talk is urbanization and understanding of uh, these cities, urbanization train of Nepal, issues of urban areas, concept of food green cities, consequences uh, and benefits. And uh, finally, I will conclude and uh, give some recommendations. So this slide shows the how the urbanization is going uh, in the developed countries in USA, California city as a seen in the upward picture and the, in the developing country in the Nepal, Kathmandu city as seen in the lower picture. Urbanization is the increase in populations in the towns and the cities. And it is obvious from the picture that the urbanization is going on at the rapid uh, pace globally in 1800. There are only the 3% of the urban population in the world, but uh, it increased to 30% in 1950, reached to 47% in 2000, and became the 50% in 2007, resulting the urban dominated old, meaning that uh, more than half of the old population started living in the urban areas. In 2018, the urban population further increased to 55.3% and is expected that it reaches to 60% by 2030 and the 68% by 2050. So it is better uh, to have the understanding of the cities. The old cities take just the just 2% of the earth uh, surface, but these cities release the more than the three fourth of the carbon emission for the human activities and it consumes the resources like the industrial wood and the tapped water in a similar manner. Hence, the cities are the consumption centers and the sources of the greenhouse gas emissions, or we can say the source of climate change. But this graph shows if the cities are planned well, it also provides the opportunity to live in a more sustainable with a low ecological footprint per capita. So the, the fact about the uh, urban area is very interesting. Uh, the other fact uh, about the cities is that the 80% of the global GDP is accounted by the city. The income co contribution of the cities to the norm national income is greater than their share of populations. For example, the capital city of the, uh, the France, the Paris has a 16% population of France, but it accounts the 20% of the 27% of GDP and Metropolita the capital city of Philippines with the 12% of population contributes the 47% of the GDP. So the cities are the engines of growth. This slide represents how the urbanization is going in Nepal. And this is the picture of Kathmandu capital city of Nepal. You can see the, uh, the, uh, the rapid urbanization of the uh, Kathmandu city, but you see the, the somehow the unplanned uh, manner of urbanization. This chart shows how the, uh, the number of uh, the municipalities increases in the time, different time. In 1961, there are only the 10 municipality. It increases to 58 municipalities, then becomes the 72 municipalities uh, 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 increased and the 130 uh, reached. And uh, it becomes the 100, 191 minutes after finally, after the restructuring, the number of municipalities reached to 293 and with the six metropolitan cities, 11 sub-metropolitan cities and the 276 municipalities resulting the urban population, uh, more than 66% according to the census uh, 2021, since the municipal population is regarded as the urban population in Nepal. However, you see the representative uh, uh, photographs in the slides showing the our municipalities still have some rural characteristics. 
Most of our cities are facing the problems of uh, solid waste management, slums and squatters. Our cities are lagging the infrastructure and services as, as per demand, demand of city dwellers. Here, river and the land pollution, traffic congestion, climate change are the common issues of our municipalities. Change of land use without planning is becoming a challenge of our, of our urbanization. Agricultural lands are converting into the buildings infrastructures and the uh, industrial blocks, greeneries and open spaces are decreasing. So to feed the city dwellers, the food are coming from far even out of the country. Hence the food travel from the production areas to our dining table measured by the food miles are increasing. This is becoming the great challenge for the urban sustainability. To manage the urbanization in a planned way, a National Planning Commission has prepared the guidelines for the integrated urban development plan and also the 14 plan national plan has emphasized the development of the food green cities. What is the food green cities then? A food green city is a kind of the eco city that integrates the urban agriculture into urban planning that enables its residents to live a good quality of life with a minimum consumption of resources in harmony with the nature, culture and future. It is also a process of converting the green into the productive green, that is the food plus green. We have a limited uh, land in the urban area, so this concept advocates the multi-purpose use of the green. For a sustainability, it is better to have the productive green so that the city dwellers can have the affordable food supplies locally and the healthy environment with a plenty of greeneries in the cities. So food green cities have the eight great, uh, guiding preserve principles. And the first one is the, the plenty of food green spaces or the productive, uh, urban productive green space. By, that is by preserving the agricultural lands and increasing the productive greenery area by various methods. The second one is the, uh, uh, the living and working together so that mobility will be reduced that can be achieved with uh, better planning. The third is uh, ensuring the minimum consumption of resources that helps you save it for the future. Fourth one is attaining the sustainable neighborhood because the sustainable city starts from the sustainable neighborhood. The fifth one is the system of three Bs, boot, bike, bus, promoting, that is the promoting the mass transportation, walking and the uh, cycling and the discarding the private vehicles. The sixth one is the use of energy efficiency and the eco-friendly technology that helps to operate our daily life with a minimum consumption of energy that results the low greenhouse emissions. The seventh one is the restructuring the cities through the community participation that is a phase-wise rebuilding the, our cities towards the sustainable cities. It is the efforts to zero waste emission that is the reduce the waste generation and reuse or recycle so that the minimum amount will be the sent to the sanitary landfill site. So these slides um, explains about the principle of food green cities. At present, the housing system is almost the uh, individual houses. So most of our urban lands are occupied by the houses. The FGC food green cities concept advocates for developing the mid high rise buildings uh, so that the uh, the more spaces are available for productive greening and the open spaces, which increases the food security and the access to the urban greenery in the urban dwellers. Similarly, another is idea is to make the living and working together uh, through the proper planning so that it reduces the mobility. It aims to reduce the consumption of the resources, reuse of water, wastewater, and the convert the waste to the compost by using the urban agriculture. The food green cities have, uh, aims the energy efficient food uh, supply system by producing the food locally, reduces the food miles, and because of this, and the less transportation of the food required in the cities, which reduces the consumption of the energies. The concept of food green cities has also tried to give the answers to the three major questions. This is very important uh, to give the three major questions answers to have the urban agriculture in the cities uh, to realize the food green cities. The first one is the way to do the urban agriculture in the cities. The question is very important as you know, the lands in the urban areas are very precious, but you can find the plenty of unused and the vacant land in the cities, which can be used for urban agriculture, part of the greeneries areas and parks. 
vacant areas and the rooftops of the houses and the government buildings can be used as a food green space to produce the food and uh, provide the greenery. If we can do this, then it helps to prevail the greenery, resiliency, and the ecologically balance in our cities. The second important question is how to do the urban agriculture in the cities. As you know that the cities are the very sensitive places and a small mistake can have a huge impact. So it has suggested to integrate the urban agriculture with the urban planning to adopt the, uh, the middle natural farming to modern farming like hydroponics and aquaponics and practice the three R policy. And it recommends the, to make the farming at the three stages the private sectors, household level, and the, uh, also community level, and the city level. By doing this, our, it helps uh, our cities to make a planned and sustainable. And similarly, we, who will do it uh, is also on yeah. the situations. Need to practice the urban agriculture in cities. And the can uh, give the part time uh, their time uh, who lives in the home, and, uh, and also the uh, low skilled people can engage in these activities. And also, community, cooperative, private sectors can also involve. And this would help make the inclusiveness and bring the self employment and the <laughs> in the city. Let me show some practice, uh, practices. <laughs> These uh, two photographs are the, uh, from the Japan. First one, I think, uh, uh, that has uh, producing the vegetables. Second uh, photograph showing the how the agriculture activities and the living spaces can be managed, well managed the, in a harmonious way. Uh, this is the photograph of the second uh, photograph is from Nepal. These photographs are showing how our garden can be converted into the food green garden and how can we, uh, how can we use our rooftops uh, as a food green spaces for producing food and maintaining the green in the uh, rooftop. And you see, this is the, the how the organization is going on uh, and uh, the, of the Kathmandu Valley. And it, it shows that the increase of the build-up area from the 5.28 percent in 1990 to the 60.44% in the 2010, uh, with a decrease of agricultural lands. And this is the aerial photo of Kathmandu Valley, Kathmandu City. And if you, um, let's calculate how much space is available in for the rooftop. And you can see the black triangles uh, yeah, uh, are in the back end space in the rooftop of the houses in the Kathmandu metropolitan city. Let's take just uh, 100,000 houses of the KMC that provides the 600 square uh, feet area, 400 square feet rooftop, and the 200 square feet of the front and back yards of the houses for productive greening. Then the collectively that uh, land will be the very large and uh, it's, uh, it, it calculated that it's equal to the Boneba municipality with the area, the 5.57 square kilometer, which, is, which comes about the 11.2% of the total area and 16.5% of the build up area of Kathmandu metropolitan city. Collectively, this is a large area where we can use as a food green spaces to provide the, both the food and the maintain the greeneries. So a study was uh, conducted to find the how is the uh, opportunity of using the uh, hydroponics in the rooftop farming in the ward number 14 of the Godavari municipality. It was found that there is a huge opportunity of um, high, um, use of the hydroponics for the rooftop farming. And the people are very much interested to do if the technical and the other kind of support is provided to them. So now uh, I will describe some of the uh, benefits as a consequences of the food king city. If we can realize the food king city, we can have the, so many benefits. We can have the physical benefits and like uh, the, it utilizes the land and the provides the green environment, maintains the balance between the uh, build up and open space, prevents the surface ceiling, maintains the clean atmosphere and so many uh, benefits we can obtain from the realizing the food king cities. And that we have also the social benefits like the opportunity for the part-time work, increases the household um, uh, food security, improves the supply of the food in the general, social integration among the neighbors. And the, it also uh, support for the cultural activities and uh, also supply the food um, with an energy efficient manner. And the, there is also the ecological benefits and the improves the microclimate, decrease the air pollution, maintain the groundwater, keep the biodiversity, and support the waste management and the soil nutrition as well. 
So yes, uh, sustainable development goal 11 is directly linked with the sustainable development of the city, um, uh, urban sector. So is related with for making the cities and the human settlement inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. One of the important goal of this uh, is to provide the universal access of the safe, inclusive, accessible green and uh, public spaces for all. Based on the presentation, it is obvious that the food green cities uh, concept helps to achieve this goal directly. And the other goals can be achieved also as well. And uh, for example, goal number two, reducing the hunger. And the third, three, goal number three, the good health and well-being. And uh, the 12, responsible consumption and the, uh, the production. So I would like to highlight here some of the, uh, the initiations uh, that, that have made uh, to realize the food green cities uh, in Nepal. The government of Nepal, the National Planning Commission, emphasized the, the smart and eco city for the sustainable urban development and identified the concept of the food green city uh, as one of the major modality for the achieving it. And mentioned in the National Planning Commission document to initiate the food, food green cities as a model for sustainable urban development by integrating the urban agriculture with the urban planning. It, uh, it also highlighted in the Habitat Thought Report and uh, it also, um, the National Planning Commission has also made the, some initiations to pr prepare the directives and the working guidelines of the food green cities in 2017. And the Ministry of Urban Development uh, has also um, initiated uh, the feasibility study to make the critical as a uh, food green cities. And Nepal, uh, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology has tried to give the continuity of the government policy to localize the, the concept of food green cities in the 16 municipalities of representing all the seven provinces to the MOU of uh, municipalities. So uh, finally, um, I, I have some conclusions with, uh, rec with some one recommendation for this presentation. Of these presentations, and the first one is the the food green city is a, is an appropriate path uh, way um, uh, to create the inclusive, uh, resilient, and the sustainable urban areas as envisioned in the Sustainable Development Goals 11. In Nepal, the increased number of the municipalities, which are at the primitive stage of the development, can be uh, can have the opportunity to convert into the food green cities. The second one is the huge opportunity of applying the emerging uh, technology like the hydrophonics and aquaphonics suitable for the application of the urban agriculture at the rooftop for contributing the vacant spaces uh, as the productive green spaces as as located in the food green uh, city uh, could have the ecological and economical benefit. And finally, um, uh, based on the these all presentations, I have one recommendation for taking a choice of managing our urbanization of Nepal and other similar developing um, in Nepal and other develop, uh, similar developing countries by realizing the concept of food green cities, including the application of the hydroponics technology for producing the food and uh, providing the green spaces in the urban areas. Uh, this brings the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. If you have any suggestions or questions, I will be happy to respond. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sunil. You have uh, given very insightful uh, things from Food Green City. And I will discuss uh, at the end of this uh, all presentation on these things. So thank you very much. And you have uh, completed your presentation right in time. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, you have initiated the Food Green Cities while you were in Planning Commission, as well as you are uh, moving forward in this uh, aspect so thank you so much and very interesting and insightful presentation thank you very much now yeah. now i'd like to go for um, paper presenters uh, actually today we have uh, in this session we have seven pre uh, pre papers and in seven papers i will call the name uh, and uh, the uh, small, uh, very little introduction on speakers. Uh, the first presenter is Dr. Kanti Sresta. Hello, are you audible? Hello. Yes, yes, ma'am. I will join. Okay, it's I okay. Will share but then I will share my slides. Thank you very much. And I will uh, give you a brief introduction. Uh, the first presenter is Dr. Kanti Sresh. 
she's the chief scientist officer, head of the faculty of science, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology. And uh, just a few minutes before, she has given her welcome speech uh, in inaugural session. And her, uh, her paper, the title of her paper is Uh, implementation of food green city for urban sustainability. Ma'am, you have eight minutes for presentation and uh, for question answer, two minutes. Um, sorry, but um, I was thinking um, we will have a question answer at the end or um, right after uh, presentation. Uh, we, we can go right after presentation. Okay, then, uh, then ma'am, you have to wait for a few minutes. Uh, we have to have question answer session for uh, keynote lecture. So, okay. Sorry for okay. that. Sorry okay. for no that. Problem. I'd like to uh, forum uh, to have uh, to give some questions, answers, suggestions, and comments for uh, kilo, keynote speaker, Dr. Sunil Babu Sresta. We have only three, three minutes. So um, let's please uh, have questions on. Any questions, comments, suggestions are uh, welcome, please. So I have a question for our vice chancellor. Uh, actually, uh, yes, thank you very much. You please keep your introduction a little bit and then. Uh, my name is uh, Pawan Kumar Neopan and I'm working at home. Okay. Uh, my question is, uh, as our honorable minister said this morning that uh, Kathmandu is developing uh, smart cities and satellite cities uh, inside the valley. So my question is, uh, how the concept of uh, green, uh, this food green city can be uh, incorporated uh, into this uh, concept, sir? Dr. Sunil, sir. Sunil. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pawanji. And uh, it's a very pertinent uh, uh, questions, uh, I think, because the, the government of Nepal is uh, uh, trying to develop them so many uh, smart cities. Uh, in Kathmandu also, the, the government is uh, trying to develop the, some a few smart cities. And uh, as far as I know, yeah, uh, the government has already uh, incorporated the concept of food green cities in the in the smart cities as well. Uh, because the uh, food green city is also a kind of the smart city to provide the, the like uh, smart cities is also linked with uh, the greeneries things and the, and the providing the uh, energy efficient food supply in the, in the, uh, in the smart cities. So uh, I think uh, um, there are so many, uh, the components uh, that with uh, the smart cities uh, can incorporate uh, or the uh, take from the the food green cities principles. Thank you very much. This this is much for now. Sir, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Sunil. Uh, is there any other questions? If you have any questions, please you can write in the chat box. Okay, thank you very much. If there is no questions, really we have to appreciate Dr. Sunil Babu Suresta because he is the one who is the pioneer on this subject and initiating from the beginning while, while he came back from uh, Osaka mm -hmm. Sanyo University, did his PhD. So uh, mm -hmm. we have to give him a big hand. Please have a, um, a big hand to him, please. Thank you, madam. At least we can so on the audio and then clap him. Thank you.
Hello. Hello. Ma'am Sunin sir? Yes ma'am. Sunin sir. My lip bolle ho? I think uh, Sudha ma'am has uh, some problem. Uh, so uh, okay. as he has already welcomed you, I think you can uh, start. Or what do you think? Maybe she will join. So I just uh, make a call uh, to Dr. Professor Suda, uh, Madam. So uh, she is listening us, uh, but uh, she has some audio problem. So she gave up. Uh, she gave. Uh, our consent uh, to uh, to have a presentation from uh, Kanti Madam. So Kanti Madam, you can proceed now. Do you hear me? Yes, Madam. Yes. Owen. Hearing you. Please proceed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pawan, and uh, respected chairperson, and all the dignitaries present here, and uh, my friends. Uh, my presentation is Implementation Status of Food Green City for Urban Sustainability in Nepal. As earlier, it is not moving. Hello. 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 Now, can you hear me? Uh, Sudha, yes, ma'am, we are hearing you, please. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry. Sorry for everyone because uh, such no. a problem in my it's fine. Uh, mobile. Yes, and it's I fine. Manage to, uh, then, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You can start, okay? You have eight okay, minutes for presentation and we'll have two minutes for question okay. and answer. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you. Mm, so, uh, 
Our academy, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, was established in 1982 for the overall development of science and technology in the country. And we do the R&D with objective uh, of uh, our academy advancement of science and technology for all round development of the nation, preservation of modernized and modernization of indigenous technologies and promotion of research in science and technology and identification of appropriate technology transfers. So on 